Oh, play it day one. Okay. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Here we go. Guys, here we go. Here we go, guys. This is it. Let's go. Every, everyone get your popcorn. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Okay. That was the commando. We're back. We're back. That was the commando. We're still back. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm so... Oh my gosh. Oh, Treyarch. Oh, Treyarch, we love you. Treyarch, we love you. Hello, and welcome to Treyarch in Los Angeles. Oh, we love and you, Treyarch. We love you, Treyarch. We love we're you. We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past bro, few didn't years. Even, bro, don't even get me started with people surviving really lightsaber stabs. Dude, the time to craft something it's so cringe. Great. This means we're so delivering cringe. a new level of polish and innovation across all parts of Let's the game. Let's see it. I've been working here for over 20 years, and I can tell you that we have something this special is Van Der with Black Ops 6. And I know that the team are excited to give you a deep dive into our campaign and global innovations across the entire game. Dude, okay. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So it looks a lot like Cold War, which is super interesting to me. With Black Ops 6, we're taking players to a new but familiar era. Head of brand development. The early 90s. Okay, hey, Carolyn. In true signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy. That, for a shadowy the, the, force that is what I like about the Black Ops the series. The levels of the US Like, government. they're more historical than um, Infinity Wars games. And forcing players to go rogue Which is for what the I first like. time to fight let's the very go, let's go, Rex. That created them. Love that? Yeah, same. The team has been meticulously crafting every aspect of this game to deliver the fun and attitude players expect from the Black Ops franchise. This game's gonna cook. Multiplayer is of course okay, okay, okay. here. Brings the Black Ops style sprinting. and provides a playground for the brand new Omni movement system. Yes. A new way to push beyond your limits and move. Th like this an is what the hero. leak said. This is what the leak said. You'll see a sneak peek of that later today. Round-based zombies <gasps> is absolutely oh, back and oh, better than ever. Please. And you can be sure it's full of surprises. With that. Let's step into the mind-bending campaign experience we've been crafting with our partners. Oh, 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 um, um, uh, Omni Movement is, um, like, you can dive in, like, different directions. Dive in, like, straight in different directions, like, full speed. Do round base, die, die, oh my gosh. No turning back now. Okay, okay, let's see. Campaign. Okay. Every Call of Duty player has a favorite campaign Dude, mission. Dude, Raven Rush. We set out to make Black Ops 6. We were focused <laughs> on delivering missions so Excuse iconic. Me. That they stick in your mouth. Adler, yeah. Why? Remember no Russian. <laughs> Remember no Russian. <laughs> Tyna, you are not narrative. missing. <laughs> you are not missing. We're giving you more variety, more dynamic what moment the moment frick? Gameplay, and more options to finish each mission. We can do this loud or quiet. Multiple endings. Multiple endings. Yes, multiple different ways to do to do the missions. The game is packed with unexpected moments. Finally, let's Black go. Ops endless. And, it's endless is back. I know it's about where time. You're never sure who to trust and what's real. And it's all set it's against so the long. backdrop of the early 90s. The Soviet Union was crumbling after the fall of the Berlin Wall at mm -hmm. the end of the Cold War. The U.S. is the only remaining superpower. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere. And there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, and pop culture of the time. When yeah, we the clash. The Black Ops timeline, Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but mm -hmm. it's directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2. It is, yep, the okay. of which has left our heroes in dire circumstances. Yeah. Some you should see. Black Ops 6 It'd be so cool to work for Raven or Treyarch. That'd be so sick. Titles with bold new characters. With veteran Frank Woods as our through line in our story. You guys can't see right now, but I'm saluting. I'm saluting Frank Woods. Everybody salute Frank Woods. In this Woods. new chapter, we see a different side of Woods. Following I kind of want to TBH. Yeah, I, I hope they hire Paul nurses. Mendez. He's been pulled from the field as he adjusts to a new role within the CIA, often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. <laughs> Frank Woods. His protege is Troy Marshall, who's Troy been making a name for himself Marshall. in the field. Marshall is a reluctant leader driven by a strong moral compass. Okay. Marshall and Woods okay. are working with another new face in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. Jane She's Harrow. a born leader, fearless and brilliant, and helps manage their relationships within the agency. Wait, was that freaking... Operating in the shadows has always been hugely valuable. That was the chick from, from MW3. 
And Marshall has Laszlo. Wasn't that Laszlo? In the field, ones that Harrow trusts him to make. That was Laszlo. When an operation goes yeah, wrong, Laszlo. Yeah. Are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. What? They soon realize they have to trust each other to get to the bottom of what's going on. No way. So they are connected. Without any of their usual resources. They have to build no their own way. team. Recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius. Felix Newman kind of looks and like um, Duma, a mysterious assassin. Dahmer. With the end of the Cold War, these former enemies I'm have sorry. become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative Russell Adler. Let's go, Adler. A former ally may have become a new enemy. What? Wait, what? For the Black Ops single player campaign, we prioritized mission variety and unique experiences. Does that mean Our Bell died? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's canon types. that Bell died then. From the ground up. It's can moment, yeah, that has to be canon palace, that Bell died. The next, you'll be pulling up the highest <coughs> casino. Good, good. This, this reminds me more of like Black world, Ops 1 campaign. In vastly That's cool. Experiences. Within these missions, we wanted gameplay to unfold in multiple ways, giving players the freedom okay, gun to navigate good. Gun through good. them as they see fit. Unless, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe Bell makes a return. Combat styles. We also have conversation So wait, if Woods is crippled and Raul Menez Menendez is alive, yep, and yep. Manipulate your way That's into true. Different experiences. Yes! I think you'll want to replay levels to see them all. Okay, that is awesome. So, so yeah, different mission endings. That's awesome. Dude, this is about to be the, the greatest COD ever, isn't it? Yeah, so so Menendez is alive. Menendez is in prison, though. To offer a variety of different the guy we're campaign. playing as Isbel? Was to provide different challenges for the player. Would it be, though? So whether they choose to go in guns blazing... Would it be? Or take a stealth I don't know. Dude, okay, good. I, I, I'm glad they added different different campaign routes like this that's sick on what's possible in terms of power enemy combatants behave fully auto m16 enemies will be relentless casino map that looks really nice throughout the levels probably not but that'd be cool yeah i i i, I don't know maybe we'll see it's possible and force them to think on their feet i said it once and i'll say it again take my flipping money seriously no like legit after this is over i'm pre-ordering it i'm pre-ordering it takes place in a vast desert in iraq you and your team this is what I wanted from open world maps. Places. I know, not just the Warzone map re rehashed. And like, yeah, you, you know, I love Warzone, but that doesn't mean I want Warzone in every facet of the game. I don't want Warzone in the campaign. I don't want Warzone in zombies. I just want it in Warzone. That's all I want. You'll find that some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well. We have a mission that takes place in an opulent casino in Southern Europe. Okay. It's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the player does in this space is totally unexpected. And another one of our missions we have set in the harsh tundra of northern Russia. Nice. We are excited to offer an array of brand new equipment, as well as some favorites Ooh. from the Black Ops universe. Adler, RCXD, yeah. RCXD, baby! Okay. Trap. Okay. Adrenaline stem. Okay, I mean, we, knife. we've had some homing knife. Disruptor. The gore factor is really, really hit. Verkuda? That run, yeah, I, that looked like Verkuda. Campaign hub called no hit markers too. That you that might just be for the cinematic. Rex. This time we wanted to think a little that bit more might just be for the cinematic. The I hope. Can we get, get chased by an RCXD? Oh my gosh. Naturalistic setting. <clears throat> so the, the, the winding of the wheels. In an abandoned manor by an ocean <sighs> cliffside. Okay, storehouse. What's most unique is that it used to be a KGB black site, which was operational during the 50s huh. and 60s. This brings a lot of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to explore and discover okay. secrets from the past. I, I, I do like safe houses. Those, that's cool. Back the evidence or there might be a setting for you to put it on. Yeah, that's true, too. I, I'm guessing that's more likely, Rex. But with <clears throat> brand new upgrades. Players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze evidence collected throughout missions. Okay, okay, okay. This is, oh yeah, this is cool. They're mo captures. Okay. That's sick. The attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one. Go. Wow, wow. Boom. That's so cool. That was sick. Great. That was sick. I think we got it. I agree with you, dude, man. 
Oh, here we go, Omni Movement. With Black Ops 6, our goal is to create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode. Let's see it. We've pushed ourselves at every corner. Oh, to that knife sound is great. You can sprint backwards. Black Ops experience for our players. That's Cold War. It does look a lot like Cold War, but you're, it looks like you're a lot faster. You can sprint sideways and backwards. No game. freaking way. For the first time ever, can players can sprint in any direction no and move like a true freaking Black Ops way. Hero with an entirely new global system we call Omni Movement. Oh, so you can turn it on and off. This unlocks the ability to move like never before. Dude, Warzone is going to be so cracked. Combat maneuvers like slide, Warzone is going to be so and cracked. Enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees no range of motion. No freaking way! From the beginning, we started with you can't do this thing. Why? And then realize people actually move that. Cod sweats are screaming right now, dude. Cod sweats are. And then instantly. Oh my gosh, they are. They are. Oh, they they're, they're ready. Which then led to all the on the ground movement and everything else. There's together. you can sprint in any direction. That is freaking sick. It's really been something. Imagine the kill games you could hit with that, game. dude. Like Whether sniper kill games. MP or zombies. We truly believe that once you experience Omni movement, Holy there's no going crap. back. No, no, that is that is sick. That dude, they, that is sick. What was that? Seriously, that was sick. Oh, Juggernaut Bridge. I want it. Movement, which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. Okay. These can be enabled in player options, and they're broken down into three categories. Sprint Cold War assist, looking at menu. Assist, and crouch Trick shots might come back. Yeah, good ones. And each of these I hope so. Will allow for fine tuning. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they had that in um. Intelligent movement really started with this idea that we want all. Bo3 yeah, menu. No, you're more, right you're more right with that one. You're far more right with that one. We want every player, regardless of skill level or input or experience with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops. Series. Dude, this is gonna be sick. Like this is, we've never seen a COD like this before. We looked at other genres like racing games where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. We've we never really seen a COD like this. Taking that thinking and applying it to our own. This is options. this is legit what what the people been, have been crying and screaming thing. about. And I encourage Every COD is exactly the same every year. This is really different. Dial in their preferred setup. This is legit different. Fidelity. Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions. What the so we, now frick? we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were hit. Dang. Okay, cool. So world connectivity is this concept. Hope it isn't a buggy mess. That oh yeah, that's true. Are connected to the world. Uh, uh, imagine like the choices. out of the map glitches and stuff you can do with Omni really movement. shines is a global feature we call corner slice. I can see that. Where as you round a corner, go through a doorway. Your weapon's gonna dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. And since it's dynamic, it'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room, but won't affect you at all if you're Dude, this, full oh my speed gosh, this game looks corner. so good. It looks it looks like Cold War, but a bit more cleaned up. The and the movement, movement looks and animations phenomenal. The movement looks phenomenal. Holy moly. Take cover! Yeah, don't just stand there with a juggernaut walking towards you, dog. Super thrilled to show you the best-looking characters that we've done. Through our process of photogrammetry, the was acquired, scanned, and incorporated onto each of our I mean, they've had four years to work on this. For our faces, they've had four years to work on this. analysis of spontaneous performances was captured and processed to make every emotional, impactful moment true to actual life. We made sure to have special attention to the cuticles and make sure that they don't look like they're just they're <coughs> cut. There's dirt in between their nails, and the oils on their palms as they're sweaty and running through situations that they're in. We're paying attention to every detail. The thing that I'm most excited about is the number of no new way Maxwell Mayor Porter we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. Okay. Zombies? I know, I saw that too. Oh my gosh. Yes. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary. And it allowed us to pull a unique mix of weapons. 
We made sure to deliver dozens of unique attachments for every gun, and this allows the players okay. to create a weapon to match any play style that you can imagine, all while maintaining the feel me their and souls. I know if they would, the if era. they if they have Hellhound return, that'd be in round based form. That'd be hype. In Black Ops 6, we really strive for striking that balance between real and hyper real, but we want to ground our effects in realism. We mm -hmm. find real world reference so that we can match that motion, the weight, the time. All right, Activision, are you listening? Riff off of that this is what happens when you don't rush studios and give them unrealistic, come to know and love unrealistic um, work timelines. You get a freaking game that looks this beautiful and hopefully is fun as heck. Okay, okay, okay. The Black Ops 6 user experience is all about focusing players on what they need when they need it. And our in game HUD is no different. From the mini map to the ammo widget okay, okay. to in game notifications. Very the much Black Cold War ass. Very much Cold War ass. But I, I like the smaller text, though. Wood still might be a beast even if he is in a wheelchair. I could see that. Do you imagine the trick shots you could hit on a wheelchair? Ways to suit their needs. No for way! Instance, Streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup. Or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't have to look away. Dang! Want to play hardcore anywhere? Or finally put the mini-map in the bottom left? Those are options as well. Okay, come on, Treyarch. You're cooking. Not only give players important status, it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded oh, here. Sorry, for being guys. awesome. Let me turn that up as a players bit. track that elusive challenge or Running target backwards the next and unlocked, race. Black Ops 6 delivers an end-to-end -end experience from the lobby into combat and back. Where this is insane. No, this is crazy. In a big way. This is nuts. This is going to be the most customized, like, unique Call of Duty of all time. Right now. Oh, please. Progression. Yes. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Yeah, because that Looking back through the Call of Duty to be having Black this catalog, the main streaming game for a month. A I need to. I need to be back. Both internally at Treyarch I need to be and back. that we see in our community for how streaming at least, like not just video prestige. streaming. Traditional prestige is back. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Yes. We pulled the best of the best from past Call of Duty prestige systems and are going bigger and more oh rewarding than ever. Gosh, yes. Players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter prestige, start fresh with relocked oh my gear, gosh, and go yes. through the leveling <laughs> journey again. Black Ops 6 will have 10 prestiges, oh each with a valuable my set of rewards to earn and equip to peacock your stats. Oh my gosh, Players who yes. make it through prestige 10 <gasps> aren't done. Wait. Instead, they'll graduate into Prestige Master with a thousand additional levels. It's like to Black Ops Three, and a classified reward to uncover for anyone. SBMM, I hope not. No, I, I hope not too. I really hope the not. The full Prestige system is available on day one in Black Ops Six. Message deleted by Die Die. Oh, did you? Oh, I hope not. Oh, did you? I, I think you probably did. You accidentally delete that message. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Big dub? No, we no, know no. How many of our players look forward to multiplayer? But, but no, I hope not too, Kenzino. You know. Okay, dive on it later MP. In the no, For come now, on. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. No, our this is massive. Our mission since day one massive. has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. All three lane, give it to me. Give we focused me. on supporting three core play styles for launch. Give it to me, Enforcers Shrek. are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Yeah, that's Recon me. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win. AKA campers. Or focus on taking out Which enemy score streaks for the team. That map looks nice. It does. All of our this game weapons, looks gear, phenomenal. And gadgets, and multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. We, we, we did, we did course, not get this much of anything from Modern Warfare 3. We can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode. Which will <gasps> theater mode! Is returning yes! to Black Ops 6. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> no, I said we're only getting a taste of MP today. Theater mode is back! Of course, that means you're going to get some early details on maps. Yes! Yes! Theater mode is back! Holy crap! We're happy to announce that we will be launching with 16 all-new MP maps. 16? 12 core 6v6 and 4 They said it was 12! Which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. I'm what not a camper, I'm not like, either. What typically. do we know that they want? So we're back to our classic three lane maps. They said We've got 16 fast, maps. experiences, and we have that balance with more medium size, like better for hardcore pacing. No to keep the action flowing, way. we still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. The maps have their own stories, and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too oh, many spoilers okay, okay. there, That's but cool. you'll That's experience cool. some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. Yeah, yeah, sure.
No, that, that makes sense. That's cool. Give it to me. We've come Kevin Drew! Day. It's Kevin Drew! It's Kevin Drew! Giving you just one more thing. Yes! Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Here it is. Oh, yes! We're back! Round base zombies is back. We're back. We're picking we're up back. the Dark Ages story we're back. we are back. It. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch. Give it to me. With a curated mix of fan favorite features and we're new so elements back. to discover. We're so back. For those new to zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode, where every map is packed full. Kevin Drew, I want to kiss you on the lips right now. Deadly enemies and tons of secrets to uncover. The legacy of zombies is incredibly important to Treyarch. Oh, Dr. Peck so will be here. Die, die. Dr. Peck will be here. Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, Peck the innovations and movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Oh my gosh. Plus, there are many additional zombie-specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic Oh my gosh, guys, zombies. guys. This... Be on the lookout for more intel coming later oh, this year. Oh, guys, this is going to be the best COD of all Steph time. AB, Mark. This is going to be the best COD of all time, Now, we know we only it? gave you a little taste of multiplayer here today, so make sure to mark your calendars for our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty Next when? on August 28th. O okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sure putting it on my calendar. Make sure to stay tuned for details and watch your because favorite streamers we're, we're get hands-on Black Ops 6 so you can be prepped and ready to jump no, into wait, that's our a MP Wednesday? beta and feel Omni movement for yourself. We'll be sharing so much more about Black Ops 6 I'm putting in the coming on my months and look forward to seeing your reactions and your feedback from our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. And it's not just about launch because the team is already focused on delivering a ton of content in the live seasons, which we'll be sharing more about. Am I allowed to talk about Warzone yet? No. Uh, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I I'm not worried much about Warzone. Our goal on Black Ops 6 was, and still is, When is it coming out? Um, October 25th. We've ever done, October frankly, 25th, it's a Friday. To do that, we deconstructed all of our gameplay, our systems, and content plans, and repeatedly asked how something could be better. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations like Omni Movement, where we're now allowing players to Dude, move how like real legit, people and operators legit, move. that is so freaking cool. In other cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems like Prestige. Then taking that classic oh, system through classic the ringer prestige. and making oh updates and improvements. This game is, Across this our weapons, be the best gear, game. operators, maps, and more, a huge push I'm not trying to glaze, to man. This is going to be the best Call of Duty of all time. Possible. The campaign tells Isn't an all-new Black Ops story where you're forced to go rogue and are being hunted by the teams Treyarch, that please don't fumble this ball, man. That, please don't fumble this, Treyarch, please. On top of that, really mission and engagement variety. Please don't fumble Multiplayer this. Multiplayer is a key ingredient in the DNA of Black Ops, and hopefully, in this sneak peek, it was clear that every single part of the MP game loop will be improved and better than ever, from movement to shooting to footsteps to engagement systems to death. And last but definitely not least, the triumphant return of round base. Oh levels. my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. There yeah. is so much more to share across all three game modes before the game officially launches on October 25th. On behalf of the entire team, we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I can't wait to play it. I'm gluing my butt cheeks to my chair, and I'm not leaving. Is this where all the zombies content is going instead of Modern Warfare 3? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. It, it, it totally is. Pre-order Vault Edition? Yeah, I'm gonna be pre-ordering the Vault Edition. You guys, you guys, you guys have my money. Oh my gosh, dude, they have my money. Oh my gosh, they have my money. I'm I, I'm I'm legit pre-ordering this like right now. <clears throat> I'm not gonna show you guys my credit cards information and stuff, but I'm legit pre-ordering this now. Klaus, yep, Klaus, Klaus is back. Klaus, yeah, Klaus, Brutus, Operator. Show up and take my money? No, I'm legit pre-ordering this, like, right now. Like, I'm not even kidding. Oh, my gosh. I was so sick. Thoughts, guys? <laughs> I think I can guess, but thoughts? Oh, my gosh. That was... Oh, that was sick. Gobblegum are coming back. They can be earned in-game. Is what Treyarch just tweeted. Oh my gosh, like they're, 
this this legit oh my gosh dude classic prestiging classic zombies gobble gum is coming back actual like freaking innovation on a scale that we've never seen dude is this gonna be the is this gonna be the best cod of all time like oh my gosh that is so sick oh my gosh that was so sick and we didn't even see that much 10 out of 10 no that was legit like i am i am shocked i am shocked like yeah it, it looks a little like cold war i don't care i loved cold war the movement was a little clunky in cold war but of course that's because Treyarch didn't have a lot of time to work on it because they were brought in so late to help uh raven but like holy crap Like, th hopefully this is one of those Call of Duties where every game mode is, like, insanely fun, you know? I I'm I'm truly hoping that it's going to be one of those experiences where, like, every game mode is, like... Like, if you're not having fun on MP, you can switch to zombies, you know, kind of thing, where it's actually enjoyable to play. But, holy moly, guys. Whoo, shoot! Well, guys, hey, thank you so much for watching. I had a phenomenal time watching with you guys. Thank you so much for, for hanging out. Dai Dai, King Zeno, Rex, uh, Gamer Owl, Jaw and Do. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out and watching this with me. Um, I am going to be pre-ordering Black Ops 6 now. Like, I'm legit logging, ending the stream, and I'm pre-ordering it now. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I just have to decide whether I want to pre-order it on, on Xbox or not. You should give me your credit card information. Oh, hey, yeah, guys. Let's, let, let, let me just stream putting my credit card number in and everything. <laughs> um, no, so, yeah, I, I guess I'm just going to decide whether to get it on PC or Xbox. Because for Xbox, all you have to do is pay, game, uh, pay for Game Pass and then pay an additional $30 for the Vault Edition. Whereas, of course, like on PC, you have to, you know, pay the 70 and then pay the extra 30 for the Vault Edition, which I legit am more likely just going to buy it on PC. So I can stream it easier and stuff. But no, we legit, the videos are going to be insane. The streams are going to be insane. We are, we are so back. Like we're so back. I legit am like, I'm literally shocked that that game looked that good. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. This was phenomenal. Thank you so much for jumping in on a random Sunday stream. Um, hope to see you guys for future videos and live streams in the future. Um, Pre-ordering Black Ops 6 now. Everybody, have a phenomenal rest of your day. Have a fantastic week. Stay hydrated. Have a phenomenal day. Take care.